evil in human nature. Just like I would tell you, if you're going to do something, do it well. And leave something with you. Leave aside and let the world know that you were there. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. It's funny that we were talking okay. for like an hour and now we, we're not talking anymore. Now we're silent. Yeah. Again. It, we already cut up to it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the episode. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, welcome to Undercover Coven. We are back. Welcome back. Hello. Today, uh, oh wait, I'm Paula. I'm Ali. And today we have a guest, our friend... Say your name. I'm Ariane. That's Ariane. No, it's okay. It's, that's Ariane. <laughs> <laughs> and today it's the three of us. And this is the second time we're doing this because the stupid girl here forgot to put on her headphones. <laughs> <laughs> and then disasters happened. And then I fell. <laughs> yeah. So what we're talking about before, before you put on your headphones is that we, we already recorded an episode with her. Like back in January when we did the the Anatoly Anatoly Moskvin 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 the Doll Master the Doll Masters episode we recorded the whole episode with her um, and as I was saying that was the episode thirteen incident that just got erased by itself and just never played again the file just corrupted that was by itself. scary because Ale it would say like episode third I mean like uh, home thirteen I think is your recording. And it just, it was yeah. there, but nothing happened. And it was just there. No. And it was completely corrupted. And it was, it was scary because it was episode 13. Yeah. Yeah. And it never, we were never able to, re- like, recover that file. Yeah. Though. It, was, it weird. was so weird, guys. I felt yeah. bad for, like, two weeks. I no, just, I just, well, yeah, I don't do this. I don't record. Yeah. I don't know how this works. I just press the pause button because you, yeah. you left the room. But see, and this, then is it the thing. this is the thing. This is the thing. If... Because we've done that before. It's, it's a thing that happens. And it just starts recording from wherever you left it. So it just cuts the audio until then. But this, it didn't even play. Yeah, true. So honestly, I don't think it wasn't even anything you did. Because it would have played at least halfway through the episode. I just think it's the number 13. Is so no, lucky you're number. right. It's an unlucky number. But we were finally able to schedule this. And now Ariane is here. So yay. Yay. Hooray. Um, Hello, thank you for having me. Do we have shout outs to start out? Just Peter. Hi, Peter. Hey, Peter. We got your. Uh, Is this a guy from your poem? Yes. Yeah. Are you Mike or are you Peter? I listen to you guys every single episode. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, yeah, Peter sent us a message. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, you sent it to me. So. Which one are we thinking? Well, it should be a surprise, but we were it already should be a surprise. Kind of, but you gave us yeah. a great idea, and yeah. uh, we're gonna record it soon. Maybe next episode. Ooh, yeah. yes. Um, and do we have any other shout outs? The last episode was the exorcism episode, right? No, no the was movie. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know your episode's better than you, Paula. I'm very sorry. I just came back from a wedding. Um. Oh, true, 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 true. <laughs> was that you know too emotionally you, damaging for you? You know how you black out at weddings? Because that's, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. sobbed at the wedding. So, yes, my emotions are not, like, correct right now. <laughs> um, there's nothing. There's no shout outs, right? Not for me, at least. No, I don't have any either. I remember just like, uh, who was it? I think Ken from Kills and Chills. She messaged us and she was like, um, she thought the audios in the middle of the the exorcism episode were like scary. Oh yeah, sorry, we scared the shit out of you. But she was like so <laughs> she into was it. like, I did not appreciate it. But she was so into it. She's like, oh my God, I she love was. this episode. And that was very funny. Uh, did, you, did you listen to the, the, um, the Possessions episode, right? The possessions. There's only only the last one is the only one I haven't listened to. So okay. I know I have, but at this point there's so many that yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> we put like clips of the uh, of the exorcisms. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah, we remember. We talked about yes, it. Yes, that was the second last one. 
Yeah, it was scary. Yeah. We feel weird talking about it. Dude, Ali and I, we yeah, recorded but at it. At the same time, I just. We recorded it, and then that night we both had nightmares. But I got frozen. Oh. Am I back? Yeah, we both had nightmares uh, regarding, like, exorcisms and, like, just weird, like, demonic things. Oh, that's and fine. during the, we were filming this, like, we were, filming, we were recording this during the day, and we were both scaring ourselves. Like, we were, in the middle of the audio, you could see, like, we both kind of paused, and I was like, what was that? Did you see that? <laughs> no, and Ali, all of a sudden. Yeah, no, I was going to say, because. No, keep going, keep going. And I was going to say how you guys usually record this at night right yeah and you know like what you're going to talk about so everything is you know scary so you kind of you're mentally prepared but then you make yourself more susceptible to you know yeah just it's, hearing noises and just having yeah. nightmares which is it's funny because i'm well i guess i am scared of like exorcism and stuff like that. that's one of the things that do hit me because yeah, usually i'm not scared of you love things. You, I, like, I love that it's not that you're not scared i think you you love being scared yeah but that's one of the things that, like, touchy subjects for me. That it's like... Mm. Yeah. No, but we were recording. And all of a sudden, Ali was just, like... Like, she was looking at me, but she would look, like, through me. And I'm like, what? And she's like, oh, I, I swear I saw something, like, pass behind you. And I'm like, behind are you yeah. kidding me? Like, don't but tell me that? that. So, I think I did hear this that This is what episode. happened. So, I was sitting here, right? And the house is, like, the next house next to me in my window, it's very, really close to me. So I, I very rarely see, like, f birds fly by and stuff like that. And so I'm sitting here, and on the corner of my eye, I see a black thing just go through the window like this. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So I just stopped, and I was like, okay, just ignore it. And then I look back to Paula, and I see a black thing go behind her. So it could have been just, like, my eyes being, like, playing tricks on, you. Playing tricks on me. But because of what we were talking about, I was like, I swear, like I said, oh God, I saw something behind No, and you. then I was here, and my, uh, my dogs are always next to me, and yeah. they both were looking, like, down, uh, like, to the stairs, and, and, mm -hmm. and I took off my headphones, and there was no sound at all, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why are yeah. they doing that? It was so scary, I swear. That was, like, the, one of the it scariest was, yeah. things, uh, the scariest episodes we've done. To me. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, rarely we record during the day, but this we were recording literally, like, it was, like, 12 o'clock on a sun Saturday or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, now you know. Nah, now we know. Just don't talk about exorcism. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're alone in the house. Yeah, like, Ali was like, oh, I'm gonna do an episode, like, on Annalise Michelle, and I'm like, the fuck you're not? <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Well, today's no. subject is also a little bit, um, a little bit scary to me, like to me. Uh, we're going to talk about sleep paralysis today. Ooh. So all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff. So, so this is something that Ariane picked actually. Yeah. Yay. Tell us why. I wanted to, because, um, I had sleep paralysis pretty frequently as a kid. As I've grown older, it's become not less severe. I would actually say it's become worse, but... <laughs> Good. <laughs> menos. Less. We've had it less. It just happens a lot less often. Yeah. Now it's to the point where it's like once a year versus mm -hmm. once a month. Um, I'm fully aware of what is happening and when it's happening, but it's still really scary. So I'm just going to read... What... Um, what I wrote last time that it happened, it felt like forever. Wait, one second. And so for those of yeah. you who don't know, sleep paralysis is um, something that happens when you can't move or you can't like speak. Uh, when you it's like when you wake up while asleep, right? Something like that. So it's you wake up while still in your REM state. Right. So right. your body's still asleep, like your body thinks it's still dreaming technically. Or like in between that REM, like state and sleep or whatever, but your mind is awake. Right, right, right. So you can see everything, or you might be able to see stuff. Which that's why a lot of people hallucinate because they're still technically dreaming. Right. But they're like very aware of what's happening. It's not like lucid dreaming. It's very different. Right. And the and this this the weird thing is that I know of, 
because uh, I watched a documentary on it, is that people tend to see, like, the same thing, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. So, Ariane, what did you write? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, this happened uh, last year. I was living with a few roommates. I was living on the living room. At this point, I just had like a kind of like a, a separator. The Veronica's? Yeah. 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 So it was like a, a little small den. Very small. It's like a den on, like the dining room area on an apartment, technically. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was there. It was not like, say, you know, it, wa- it wasn't a room. So everything, it was yeah. kind of open. Uh, so I felt a little more vulnerable also because I was right by the balcony. Oh. I was on the 17th floor, but regardless, it was, I don't know, it's scary sometimes. Yeah. I won't get into that. That's another thing. Anyway, I was trying to fall asleep. And then suddenly, I didn't notice that I fell asleep. And this will happen. People were screaming. Something was wrong. People were moving around. Me and Veronica, which was my roommate. Um, and she came and wake me up. It seemed like I had passed out. Then I sat on my bed. And as I was trying to make my way, I realized that I was still sleeping while they were trying to get me to move. I felt like I was screaming for help, but my lips didn't move. Then this overwhelming bad feeling came over, of course, that clearly was some sort of emergency going on. So my body is starting to become alert. I still couldn't move, although I was panicking inside. I opened my eyes and everything was dark. There wasn't anyone around, but I still heard the screams. There was a baby on the background. It sounded like someone or something was torturing it. I realized what was happening, sleep paralysis. But it wouldn't win, not this time. I slapped myself so I, I would make sure that I was awake, but I couldn't. Oh my God. I heard my little sister trying to say something. Um, I have a little sister that's about five years old. She lives in Chile. I live here in Canada. So she wasn't here, but I heard her kind of calling. I didn't know what she was saying. She sounded hopeless. She needed me and I didn't know why. I heard her say my name, <laughs> like when you hear someone last call for help when they're about to give up. That's when my heart started racing. I finally woke up. I panicked a little more. The bad presents were still around, but I still couldn't tell or yell them to leave because I knew there was no one around and my roommates had already gone to bed. My head was spinning. It happened so fast. It felt like those dreams where you try and can't run were happening in real life. So slow, so fast, I cried. They won again. Oh, my God. And I just want to say that this happened maybe last year, maybe a year and a half ago. And as I was reading it this morning, I started feeling I was just at work, just a normal day. You know, everyone was around me, so many lights on. I started getting anxious because I could feel all all that fear and vulnerability. Like, I was there again at night having the sleep paralysis, knowing what was going on. At the same time, knowing that nothing was happening. But also... I don't know. I started feeling, I was so hopeless and scared and it was for like one minute. I felt like I zoned out of work and then like I had to, you know, come back to my senses because I actually did have to work, unfortunately. But unfortunately. I don't know. I read it now scary, and you yeah. can hear my voice like a little shaky. Yeah. Oh my God. When I read that part about my sister right now, uh, anyone that has younger siblings, yeah. th- they have that, you know, that I'm the oldest out of five. Um, <laughs> they all have that Oh, yeah. We all have that, yeah. that, that, that thing, that maternal. Yeah, I don't know who it yeah. is. But, you know, when your siblings are coming for you, like, yeah. you need to be there. You'll do anything for them. you run, you you know, kick anyone, whatever. So whenever I I feel like it's anything regarding my siblings, I become, like, very vulnerable. and very, you know, I'll fight everyone. So I get super, yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm going to say emotional, vulnerable, stressed. And all of that happened in, like, what, one minute? Yeah, usually that's how long. Like, yeah, that's, it's no longer that's, than that. That's yeah. terrifying. Like, that's that's yeah. seriously. But it like feels a, like a million years. Like, when it feels it never ends. Yeah, I remember then I actually like woke up. You know, as all of this was happening, um, I did try to start moving. You know, little bits like the tips of my fingers or my toes, so that you can actually kind of start preparing your waking up your body yeah. basically, so that you can move. And I remember I woke up, I sat, I kind of ran away, went to one of my roommates' um, room. Thankfully, they were awake, Rashad. Yeah. And I just knocked on the door, and then they opened. Thankfully, they were awake, and I just started crying. And they asked me if I could sleep there for the night. And I didn't. He was just yeah. 
he was, he was like, watching yeah. TV. No, we are very good friends. We've known each other yeah. forever. <laughs> and I just, I, I couldn't sleep on my own. So I, I had to sleep there. He had to like watch for me because I, I couldn't. Yeah. I was like crying, tearing up. And then. Yeah. I could it's finally it's sleep scary. For a few hours. Especially if it doesn't happen often. It's scary because you do feel alone. Because mm-hmm. literally you feel all that and nobody's around you. Like nobody can feel what you're feeling. Like it's. It sucks. I think the scariest thing is feeling hopeless. Yeah. And even more scary than feeling hopeless is knowing that you are not really alone, but still feeling that you cannot do anything about it. Yeah. So it's a really weird sensation because your body kind of, they know that you're safe, but you don't feel safe. Yeah. So that's why your body doesn't really react to anything because they know you're fine. Yeah. You know, but then you want to fight it and you can't. It's so it's so really, scary. Yeah. Yeah, and that's when people start having those. I don't know if hallucination is like the word that visions. Have, um, well, now I know how to. I I suffer from sleep paralysis quite often. Um, um, I used to. It, it happened more often at the apartment where I used to live before, which I just attributed to the apartment being haunted. But it could be just I don't know. Um, but I used to. I used to have it like a couple times a week. And my doctor would be like, but are you sure that that's... I'm like, 100% is sleep paralysis. Like, she knew what sleep paralysis. She's like, maybe it's the way that you're sleeping. Maybe it's like, whatever. I sleep on my side. I sleep on my tummy. Like, it's it's not the way that I'm sleeping. It's just... It just happens. Right? Because um, a lot of the times it happens... It happens more often to people who sleeps um, looking up to the ceiling. I was going to ask. Because I yeah. sleep I sleep looking up. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, I was going to ask. Um, because you start choking, right? So that's why, like, your your body kind of, like, your mind wants to wake up, but your body still might still be asleep. Um, it happens if you're pressing on your chest or it's, like, something's, like, choking you. That could happen to you as well. Um, so I know that it's not, it's just something that I suffer from. It's not the way that I sleep. Right? Um, and I used to always have, so it started happening more often when I moved into the the apartment. It was me and my sister. And so each one had their rooms. And I remember, so it started with, I would wake up and I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I could see my room, but I could feel that there was somebody outside of the apartment trying to get in. And I could feel the presence, like trying to get in, trying to get in and like jiggling the doorknob and like trying to get in, trying to get in. And you knew that they were going, they were there to attack you. Yeah, they were there to attack me. And then as the nights passed by and like the months passed by, I started having, um, like they would move closer so then they were inside of the apartment and then the night that everything went down it was because i started seeing so i woke up one night and i saw right in the corner of my room i saw a person it was a a man i'm guessing in a black coat just looking into the corner of the wall just like standing there and i could see his back my god so oh my god. The, you know the the hunting of um of how the hill house or whatever? Mm-hmm. So that that scene with whoever hasn't seen it, whoever has seen it. <gasps> that scene that with the guy with the hat, mm-hmm. that set me off like so bad. Like that I felt like I felt what he was feeling when he could yeah. see in it. I could feel it cuz that's exactly what I would see. So this person was like standing looking at the corner of the wall and that's when I, like I came out came out of it of course there was nothing there and so i went onto my sister's with my mattress i went into my sister's room and i'm like can i sleep here because i was crying um and then she's like what's going on she she couldn't sleep either and so i asked her um she was like what's going on and i told her what had happened and what happened happened i've been having these nightmares and like um just like i wake up with like sleep paralysis and i, I can breathe in there and then tonight there was somebody in my room right and she's like oh my god and she stops and she's like, I've literally had the same dream. So my sister was also having... So we slept in the same room for like six months after that. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I had my mattress next to her bed. Oh. It's so nice that you had each other. Yeah. But it then is. eventually, it, it started happening so much that sometimes it was like... Sometimes it was scary things. Sometimes it was me um, just in my apartment. So like I would wake up in my bed and... I was so used to it that I would, like, get up and go to the kitchen and stuff. And then suddenly I would wake up in my bed and I couldn't breathe. But I was aware that I was, like, lucid dreaming and that I was, like, having sleep paralysis. 
And then I would just, it, it literally, you can control it with your breath, with your breathing. Hmm. If you start like remembering, writing about it helps. Because then you'll remember once it's happening, you'll know that it's happening and then you'll do something about it. Um, try and touch your surroundings, like your bedding and stuff. Mm-hmm. That helps as well. Um, and just got, kind of let it go. And try to, if, if you try to jerk your, your legs, I notice that it helped me a lot. Trying to jerk my legs to like jerk me awake. And then yep. I'm awake. But it, it's the one thing that I do not wish like anybody for that to happen to anybody is that you cannot breathe. <sighs> And you literally cannot breathe. My yeah, God. there's some people that feel... I mean, it's, it's just that, that you can't breathe. Yeah. But because of it, there's some people that feel that there is something that's sitting on your chest. Yeah. And that's something that, of course, they attribute it to something mnemonic. And it's scary because you can't see it, but you can feel it. And it's there and you're sure it's mm-hmm. a thing. And it's there to attack you. And it's just... The brain does the craziest thing. Yeah. But you know what? So I've been, in the past times that I have had sleep paralysis, I've been super aware of what's happening. Mm-hmm. And I try to logic my way out of it, if that's mm-hmm. how you say it. But I, I I, still, I don't know, I don't get scared because I don't want to get scared. Yeah. But I can't. I, I still can't. Like, my brain keep, keeps thinking all these weird yeah. things. And I, I just say to myself, no, this is happening. Like, you know, your eyes are open, but your body is still sleeping. That's why you can't move. It's mm-hmm. nothing. There's nothing wrong with you. There's no one here. But it's still... That's anxiety. Yeah. That's that's still, that's yeah, like works. textbook it's anxiety. Different. That's yeah. textbook anxiety because that's, that's like... I've never had sleep paralysis. I don't consider myself to have sleep paralysis. Um, but I have anxiety disorder. So, but what you're saying is true because... You're completely aware of what's going on, but your mind is just going and going and mm-hmm, going. Mm-hmm. And that's ang- mm-hmm. that's pure anxiety. Yeah. And it's just so annoying because, yes. like, what else can you do? The way you handle it, like, trying to logic yourself out of it is a great way to get out of it. Because like, I talked mm-hmm. to it, I talked to that, I talked to my therapist about that. Um, and she's like, that's one of the... Um, the exercises you can do to like help your anxiety so keep doing that if you ever if it ever happens to you mm-hmm. because it's a good way yeah yeah it's a good i way. just don't understand why well i'm kind of those people that if it doesn't work at once then i just stop. like everything should whatever if it didn't help yeah. once then why is it going to help me in the future because i keep yeah. trying it and it still scares me and at least it takes my mind a little away a yeah. little away from all that I'm going to be attacked yeah. feeling. But, you know, I still get anxious. So then I still get yeah. to sleep paralysis and I still get nervous. So yeah. it's kind of like... Of course, because like, even if you remember that you are having, like you realize you're having sleep paralysis, it still doesn't take away from the fact that you cannot breathe. And like, you're right. like, oh, what if this is like, this is it, right? Right, right. So it's like that moment of desperation, of course, you're not going to be super calm about it. <laughs> but um, I remember the last time that I had sleep paralysis in my old apartment. That one, because I, I was already like used to it. Um, but that one scared me really bad because I fell asleep on my couch. And it's the first time that whatever the hallucination was actually touched me. And I felt it. So like I woke up and I saw the uh, like the back of the couch like i just because i fell asleep like looking at the back of the couch Mm -hmm. so i remember like waking up and i was like oh and i couldn't breathe and i was like oh it's happening and then i could hear somebody moving behind me like moving stuff around the table like the center table like the coffee table and stuff and so then i realized i was like okay this, this is a hallucination there's nobody here and like i was trying to just like trying to move but i couldn't and then I feel in my arm, like, because I was, my back was to the living room, right? Mm. I feel like somebody goes like this. And so I was like, maybe, maybe my dad sees me struggling. He's trying to wake me up, mm-hmm. right? But then, like, I felt it like that. Like, they She's were grabbing trying... my arm. Yeah, sorry. I'm, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> grabbing her arm. Um, so I could feel it. Like, somebody was, like, going like this, like, trying to, they were actually touching my arm. And so that's when I jerked myself awake. And I turn around, like I literally jumped off the couch. I turn around, there was nobody there. Oh my god! 
and like oh i've never God. had a hallucination like actually like touch me like and like, i could feel it i know that i was probably dreaming but it was fucking scary yeah i think it's just you know your brain trying to because because you feel it like internally yeah. i feel i think it's your brain that kind of creates you know all those shadows yeah. and all those things that you feel because if you feel something that your brain is thinking there's have there has to be something yeah. there so then you start making yourself feel like you know yeah. you're being touched or you're being yeah, you know right? Uh, stepped on or it's trying to like compensate for what you're feeling yeah it's creating so, like, these it's hallucinations things yeah right so i yeah, am i'm reading here it says um episodes are often accompanied by uh hip hypnotic hypnotic experience which are visual auditory and sens sensory hallucinations and it mm -hmm. says you can feel uh one of these three it's like three categories so it says mm -hmm. intruder which is what happened to, to ale Uh, it says these are sounds of doorknobs opening, shuffling footsteps, a shadow man, or a sense of a threatening presence in the room. The other one is an, <laughs> <laughs> the other one is an in above. incubus, feelings of pressure on the chest, mm -hmm. difficulty breathing, with a sense of being smothered, strangled, or sexually assaulted by a malevolent being. This individual believes they are about to die. And then the third wow. one is vestibular motor it says a sense of spinning falling floating flying hovering over one's body or another type of out of body out of body experience wow. and that one i've never had but the other two this is i was gonna say me. i was gonna say because it says the experience of sleep paralysis has been documented for centuries and i was just about to say that i've seen art Where uh, mm -hmm. where sleep paralysis mm -hmm. is is represented, and it's always with Ooh, something. Oh, have you seen with a little demon? Yeah, on your chest. And it's always something on the chest, and I think mm -hmm. that's so interesting. Have you noticed that that one with the little demon on the chest? There's something on the background that's yeah. looking. Yeah. Really? It's so scary. I saw yeah. I, when I saw that picture. That thing on the background is the first thing I saw, and I just got <gasps> so scared. I'm like, oh my god, how did you look? How did they look into you know my brain and know exactly what I see? <laughs> well, That's yeah. exactly yeah. it. That's so scary. So scary. But it's. I just think it's 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 okay. so amazing that so many people suffer from sleep paralysis. That isn't. It's not life threatening, but everybody yeah. has like the same experience, and I think that's weird. That the brain. It's that's super that's weird. weird. Yeah, and I read somewhere that it could be um, inherited, I guess. Genetic? If that's what... Yeah, yeah, it, it could, could be, be genetic. genetic, yeah. But it could also just kind of happen to you. I mean, mm -hmm. I asked my mom and my dad if their sides of the family mm -hmm. had any kind of, um, what's it called? Sleep? Sleep, like, um, <laughs> signs of... Sleep disorders? Sleep. History? Sleep disorders, that's oh, what I'm okay. looking History for. Of sleep and they didn't know of anything so i'm like maybe it's just you know a lot of anxiety together and Could also be. just waking up to when you shouldn't be waking up just yeah, basically yeah. um but yeah no it's so weird that it happens like you were saying Paula, to so many people that have nothing to do with each other and everyone feels basically the same thing mm -hmm. you know what that story that you told i think you sent it to me after I the day after it happened yeah because i remember while you were reading i remember you telling me about this you know what it reminds me of The the thing of like people screaming and the babies and then you, your sister that and never Veronica. happened. That was it, the only time that happened. I've never so seen like real. That people. reminds me of the movie Mother. Have you seen the movie Mother? Mo Or the Mom? one with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mother. Yeah. You know when everything starts happening in the house. Yeah. At the end, uh, toward in the climax. That's, That's part. exactly what reminds me of Mother. Mother. Oh, that movie's fucked up, man. I can't even spoil it because there's nothing to explain. Like you, it's it's very metaphorical. It's however you take it. Okay. That's what the that movie. That movie, parentheses. Oh. That movie they say is, uh, and the the director said it as well, yeah. is uh, metaf metaf metaphorically speaking about Jesus, Mary, and Joseph from the Bible. Really? Yeah. I thought they were just talking about like postpartum depression for some reason <laughs> so no, i guess it I is think... however you take in yeah yeah it honestly is so well made uh -huh. really that, movie that movie is genius it's so good i have to watch it you know that i can watch any gory shit that you give me any horror i'll yeah. fall asleep to it i don't care <laughs> but that movie that is just like it's psycho it's a, it's a thriller right? dude it's a psychological thriller i fall asleep mm. listening. i have to watch it 
by breaks with breaks. You really you can't it's take it. Very anxiety inducing. Oh, you feel like oh, so help like hopeless for her. Yeah, oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah, Jen and I watched <laughs> it at the at the movies when it came mm -hmm. out, and Jen is oh like, and Jen is like, I feel anxiety. Yeah, and I'm like, Jen? yeah, exactly. <laughs> she <laughs> does. I'm kidding. Love you. <laughs> My therapist says that about him. He's like, how's John? The boy without feelings. Oh. <laughs> well, he was uh, feeling inside. Yeah. <laughs> so he has some feelings. He has a little bit of feelings. One feeling. Just uh, one feeling. Just <laughs> one feeling. I was uh, reading also that sometimes it's caused like because of um, you're not sleeping well, because of stress, because of anxiety. But it can also be caused by coffee. Oh. And I know well, somebody very anxiety inducing. <laughs> and somebody here drinks drink coffee. coffee. <laughs> like Ariana, I know drinks a lot of coffee. So. Oh my god, she does. today I drank like three coffees before noon. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna. Uh, it's because uh, I work in the food industry. It. It's right there for me. It's free and it's coffee. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I don't know. Say. I don't know why I'm being like, "Ooh, you drink coffee?" When I drink coffee too. Like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we all do here. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoever is, like, in their 20s and doesn't drink coffee, like, something's seriously wrong with you. <laughs> uh, we're laughing, but it's actually sad. It is sad. <laughs> Sometimes I have, like, so many coffees a day, and I don't realize, and I ha start having, like, I get home and I start having palpitations. I'm like, this is not <laughs> right. I shouldn't. This shouldn't be happening. But you know the thing with me? I don't know. Once I heard that if, if you have coffee and don't feel, you know, that the caffeine is kind of kicking you or waking you up is because you don't drink enough water so you're basically kind of dehydrated i try to drink more water but also i could drink coffee before bed and go to bed or coca-cola before bed and, <laughs> and just you know and just go to bed and sleep peacefully normally it feels i feel like it doesn't do anything for me so when i drink it it's almost for me like drinking water and I'm sorry to like any any. There's yeah. no doctors listening to us, but so there is a, a type of organic coffee that doesn't yeah. give you like. Sounds bad. I don't like it. I don't know. That doesn't give you like the jitters or like it doesn't keep you awake. <clears throat> but I don't know what the name is. They call it. What do they call it in Mexico? I remember my ex roommate used to have some. Mm. But see, regardless, I don't feel any of those side effects. So I feel like why would I stop drinking it when I like it so much? Yeah. I just drink it because I like it, not even because it keeps me awake. So I don't. Yeah, that's true. No. True. Oh God, nice coffee. Mm, it's yeah. all good. I should make some coffee. You, you should make some coffee. <laughs> yeah. So back to the subject. Um, yes, <laughs> of course. I am reading here. What can you do about sleep paralysis? So what can you do like during the day, not at the moment that you're having sleep paralysis? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it says. I know that having a normal routine is good, like a normal routine. I have a normal routine. Yay. I, I'm Yay. saved. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, so it says... Like the same routine every day? Like a No, but <laughs> uh, in hours wise. So like I sleep eight hours a night, go to bed at proper time, wake up. Like if you have to wake up super early, go to bed super early type of thing, you know? Yeah. Rest. Let no, but body. it's it's because of my insomnia that I have to have a sleep, a bedtime routine. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm very like... I'm not you a can very, force yourself to sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm not a very traditional, like, follow the rules kind of person. But when it comes to sleep, like, I have to do it. I'm very sorry. Yeah. So it says, skip the nap. Nappers seem more prone to sleep paralysis than non-nappers. <laughs> sorry, Annie. <laughs> You're so, dumb. But technically, I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get as much sleep as possible. So people who are sleep-deprived... Enter REM sleep very quickly, uh, oh. so when they are awake, they get sleep paralysis. Uh, don't sleep. Uh, what? When they are awake, they're still awake during uh, REM sleep because they go into it so fast. Oh, that they their body doesn't catch realize. Up yet. Right, okay. right, right. Yeah, because there there are two types: when you're falling asleep and when you're waking up. Waking up is the yeah. most common one, but also when you're falling asleep, you can have that. Yeah. I just don't know how that one works because I'm like I'm falling asleep, but I feel like someone's coming for me, but I'm just gonna sleep anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't come for me. I don't care. Uh, don't sleep on your back. 
-hmm. which sucks for me because I always sleep on my back and it's because it's good for my back like my because I have um, sciatica so I have to sleep on my back and go to the doctor mental okay. health professional what's the doctor gonna do mental health gonna professional tell you, don't sleep on your back <laughs> don't sleep on your back don't, <laughs> don't drink coffee don't, don't drink take naps stop with the coffee <laughs> no it's because of mental health problems like if you have anxiety disorders or things mm -hmm. like that yeah that's true like me that I go to therapy <laughs> yeah I was just gonna say that That probably helps a lot. That does help a lot. It does. It does. Yeah. I'm I so think... happy that you have the opportunity. <laughs> the fact it's that good, I don't have sleep paralysis says, I think it says that I'm doing something right. <laughs> I hope Thank it you. does. <laughs> one of us. One, one of us. <laughs> At least one, one of us. <laughs> I wonder if Fania has sleep paralysis. I doubt it. Back to the subject, once again. Yes. <laughs> We keep getting derailed. But there's not that much to say. Okay, so it happens to people with anxiety that don't sleep well. You should not take naps and not drink too much coffee. And be aware of when it's happening. Logic your way out of it. If it happens, I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. That's, so I know, I know, something, else. I know something else that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So in Asia, uh, mm -hmm. people tend to think, like Asia, Africa... People tend to think that they have like culturally a um, uh, belief that when sleep paralysis happens, it's a witch trying to have sex with you. Well, oh. like an incubus, and a uh, succubus or an incubus. Right. No. What's the difference between succubus? I know incubus. One is a male, one's a. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Got you. And I bet you guys didn't know that. So hey, I I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my sleep paralysis are not that it. fun. <laughs> So. <laughs> I don't think it's fun being molested by a witch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, listen, depends on my mood. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. listen, it depends on the witch coming to see me. Yeah. Like, if she's hot, I'm good. D should I swipe right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love that we're talking about I haven't used Tinder. I haven't used Tinder in months. Just don't you guys know. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, there's not that much more to say about it. No. No. But it's just freaking scary. It is. It really is. I honestly don't know that how with that with the net level of anxiety that I have it's never happened to me. Yeah, I was yeah, no, I was so surprised <laughs> that you never had it. Never had it. Never. She doesn't sleep. <laughs> That's why. True. True. That's what you're doing right. <laughs> So Let's just not sleep. The moral Don't take of naps, the story just do not sleep. <laughs> Don't sleep. Forget about it. So if you guys can take away anything from this episode is that sleeping is bad for you. <laughs> sleeping will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Or will get you molested. <laughs> <laughs> no That's guys, terrible. seriously, please have a good sleep sleeping routine. It's so important. Take it from somebody who doesn't sleep. <laughs> If you're able to sleep, sleep, please. Do it. And if you get, mm. you need to get the right hours of sleep so your body regenerates because, f fuck, it sucks not to sleep. It sucks. Yeah. It sucks. If it's frustrating when you can't, so. Yeah. Mm. You know when you're a kid and you just want to be up all night, whatever, watching TV, yeah. you're playing with your friends. Why? Just that's, that's, see, that's why children are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of this episode, the other moral of this episode is <laughs> fuck them kids. Right? <laughs> yes. oh, this is terrible. Yeah, but anyways, if you never had sleep paralysis, one, I hope it never happens to you. Two, I hope you know how lucky you are. Three, I don't know. If it happens to you, just know it's really normal. You're not alone and you are probably not in danger. I cannot say that you're 100% Breathing. not in danger yeah. because you never know if... There actually is someone in the corner yeah. staring at you coming to attack you. <laughs> that's terrifying. But that's another Ariane. point. <laughs> Ariane, that's horrible. That's like But it's that's, real life. That's probably worse than fuck them kids and you're being molested <laughs> in your sleep. I swear, that's terrifying. No, but you know what? Like I actually read a very short story on Reddit of this person that had sleep paralysis and she couldn't sleep and she would wake up and she ended up screaming, but there wasn't anyone. So they ended up every time that would happen, her parents would come to a room. But there was nothing, right? Same. So then, whatever. 
But then they didn't come, and she realized that there actually was someone in the feed or her bed. It was actually a man. They had to call 911, but the person fled the scene before anyone could get there. Oh my so god! I'm sorry, it could happen. <laughs> I am home yeah. alone right now and it's midnight. You have your dogs. Oh! 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 Guard dogs! He protect. He attack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're like this big. What are they gonna do? <laughs> they're like this. So she's pointing at <laughs> the size of a hot dog. <laughs> Lady's oh, gonna... you didn't have any pets this week? Oops. I you think we ran out of pets. That thing you do? No? Yeah. We forgot the pets. <laughs> you know what? Here. I have a pet. Hey, choose oh. my cat. Choose my cat. I'll show oh. you pictures. Oh, and my cat. Yeah, yeah, she's okay. a guest, so she's, she chooses. Yay, my cat, Kaiser. He's a ginger. He eats a lot. He sleeps a lot. And, well, he's just... He's chill. Yeah, I don't, and I he don't wants know. your love only when he wants it. I want pictures. Don't when he doesn't want I don't know what you he looks like. What? Pictures. But you've, you've, like, loved my, you know, Instagram stories. Oh, oh that cat. Okay, yeah, pretty. <laughs> what are the I don't know. Yes. That cat. I don't live there. Boo. Sad. Oh, soon. Benita. Soon. Yeah, soon. soon. Yay! That kind is so cute. You guys never found the other one? Fluffy. No. See, I didn't know so, there was a, a lost cat. Like, give me <laughs> up to Yeah, date. they were twins. They were twins. They came together. And then my mom and my mother moved. And a few months later, the female cat, the sister, kind of disappeared into the wild. She could, would come back sometimes, but with all these scratches and stuff. Thankfully, oh. I didn't see her because I didn't live with my mom anymore at this point. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, my mom was sure that someone, either someone took her because she was really pretty, or she just got killed. So. Because, I hope but, that somebody took her and sticking care yeah, of her. Yeah. I honestly don't think that's what happened because she liked to be outside first because I had uh, my 13-year-old brother and cousin that would live and they mm -hmm. would terrorize her. So she didn't oh. like being there. So she was trying to escape. And then she was also very adventurous and very, like, independent. So she would try to go and looking for adventures. And that's why she would come back. I remember you guys used to live at the apartment. So she used to jump yeah. on the balcony to we the next balcony. On the fifth floor. She used to what? jump from one balcony to the other on the same floor. But once she ended up on the floor, like, on the first, on the uh, parking lot. That freaking cat. She was fine. What? What, yeah. what, what, what floor were you on? Fifth. <gasps> I know. Yeah. Oh my god! That was crazy. I think that guy really had seven she, tried, nights. she jumped. She went to the next balcony on New Year's that time. We stayed over. Remember? I think it was that day. Well, she. I went think I don't know. So many times. It was. It was several times. Anyway, yeah. that cat is. <laughs> I don't want to think about her anymore. Hopefully, somebody has her. I hope so. Yeah. I doubt or it. or just think that she's out on an adventure and she's having like the time of her life. Oh my god. Well, They're gonna make yeah. a movie of her someday. <laughs> a movie. What of was her. her name? Addis. Her oh. name's Addis. Aries. Aries. The adventurous Aries, the cat. <laughs> oh, you should Literally the god of war. She was named right. I named her. <laughs> <laughs> That's an appropriate name. <laughs> yeah. That's an appropriate name. Um, yeah, Maybe it was my fault. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All this guilt. <laughs> no, but now the cat of the, I mean, the, the pet of the week is, um, what's her name? Kaiser. Kaiser, Kaiser right, Kaiser. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Fluffy. Yeah. Remember to send this picture so we can put it on the Instagram story. <gasps> mm -hmm. Yes. I am doing that right now. You're going to be famous. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Talking about famous cats, the, you know that grumpy cat died? Oh, yeah. This week. Aww. I had no idea until you told me today. And she was a female. I also didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? I thought it was a, a male. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we assumed, we assumed it's man. gender. So that's bad of us. Oh. We always think... Have you noticed we always think all animals are men? Because... I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole <laughs> other subject. That's another okay. podcast. That's another yeah, podcast. That's another podcast. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. this week on what's wrong with the world. <laughs> Speaking of which, 
Men should not make laws for women. Men should not make laws for women. But yes. that's another podcast. <laughs> I, w- I will leave with a quote, though. Give me a second. I need to find it. This has been going all around the internet. Everybody's posting it. I'm going to uh, say goodbye to the people and you can say the quote. Okay? Okay. So, guys, remember to follow us on social media at Undercover Coven and send us an email at UndercoverCoven at gmail.com. And also, please send us your pets. They could be, remember, we've had cats, we have dogs, we've had literally rocks. We need a bird. Does yes. anybody have a bird? Send us a bird. Peter, do you have pets? I know you're listening. Yeah, so Peter. Peter slash Mike, do you have pets? Um, yeah, and now we'll leave with Ale's quote. Ariane, thank you so much for being on this episode. Yay. Thank you so much for having me. You I seriously... Loved it. It was so nice. I love you talking see- to you girls. You seriously scared the fuck out of me, so yay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so have fun tonight. <laughs> but we will leave with this quote. Um, it just in light of everything that's happening. All we're going to say, we're not going to comment on anything. But men shouldn't be making laws about women's bodies. That's all I'm going to say. No. 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 Fuck men. <laughs> yeah, we wasn't going to say anything else. I'm Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Except for you, Peter. Peter, you're, you don't suck. No, Peter, you're good. <laughs> Peter, you're good. <laughs> Bye.